How are you doing? Mate, how are we? Yeah, good. That's all hard, isn't it? Hey, mate, how you going? Brent? That's good. We got the boots and the Nah, nah, nah. But me, Ben, Richard. Go from here, let all the lines go. Late Wednesday, QF6 Malula Bar was contacted by personnel from military sources and through the commander, we were asked to provide vessels to maintain an exclusion zone around the United States submarine that would be rendezvousing with vessels in Malula Bar Bay at 7 a.m. the next morning. The United States submarine that's out here in the bay, but uh, and basically we're just making an exclusion zone around him to see that no one creates a nuisance, I suppose. But I don't, I don't, reckon, there'll be, I don't reckon there'll be too many out there this morning. No, no closer than this. I'm surprised they said it was all right to film. That's Thursday, 7 a.m. is when our maintenance team usually attends to any maintenance issues, as well as the normal checks on our vessels. It was decided to use our maintenance team to form the crews from the Lullabar Rescue and Rotary 3. The submarine, which I believe is the USS Ohio, duly arrived and two vessels came up from Brisbane with a number of packages which were transferred to the submarine by water police smaller vessels. We do not know what the goods were, but I'm sure the Ohio skipper and crew were glad to get them. Conditions were fairly bumpy with a solid 25 knot south southeast breeze and a couple of metres swell, so we did not expect too many sightseers to be about and it was not difficult to maintain an exclusion zone around the vessel. It took a couple of hours to conclude the transfers and then the pilot vessel escorted the sub back out to sea. QF6 Malula Bar was called on to do a number of different tasks but I don't think we've ever been called to look after a submarine of this type before. We're always glad to help our USA military friends whenever it's required. Babysitted a submarine before. It's always a first for everything, Peter.